Hey, so today we're going to be looking at this little piece of hardware here, which is called the Game Boy Player. And what it is, it's a hardware attachment that you plug into the bottom of your GameCube. Sorry about the condition of this GameCube. Also, sorry about the condition of the Game Boy Player. But um, what you do is you plug it into the bottom of the Game Boy Player. I mean, of the GameCube. And then you have these two little screws that you screw in. And what it allows you to do is play any Game Boy, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance game through your GameCube, and the output would be on your TV. Now, just looking at this thing, it's a little dirty, so I apologize for that. There's not too much I can do about that. Also, for the system, I apologize again. But if we look here, that's where the game's going. Now, it has some extension cable, which I believe allows you to use your... Game Boy has a controller, but you need a special cable. So there's not too much to this device. There's a slot for the games part for the extension cable. And here on the side, there's a little eject slot thing, which allows you to eject your Game Boy games. Now, the way that this works is if you flip the GameCube over, on the bottom here, you'll see these little tabs, right? So... I don't know what that's really used for, to be honest, just showing you guys. It looks like a little USB plug-in. And I'm guessing this had a tab on top as well, which I can't seem to find. But in order to get the GameCube player working, you flip your GameCube over. You get this. And you plug it in like so. And it should be plugged in right now. And from there, we're just going to take this little screwdriver. Give it a little twisty turning. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand and my hands are shaky as shit, so my apologies. So we're going to give it a little twisty turny. I'm not going to do it all the way. should be fine, but that's how you would do it. And from there, once we flip it back over, as you can see... We have that little bad boy in the bottom, and it allows us to put our GameCube games in there. I mean, Game Boy games. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take... This is pretty much the only Game Boy game I have, just to test it out, which is Pokemon Gold. And I believe they can't go on like that, so it has to be upside down for it to slide in. I'm just going to flip it over one more time, because it's easier while I'm holding this camera. Oh, no. It goes like that. So now this bad boy should be good to go if we flip it back over. Oh, sorry. You actually get a disc with it that without the disc, you're not going to be able to use the Game Boy Player. So we're going to have to insert that. And now we're going to power... See what I mean, guys? I'm sorry for the system. This just, this, this just looks bad to look at. My apologies. So now what we're going to do is turn it on. Look at some of the options and see how it runs. So as you can see, when you turn it on, you get that normal GameCube screen. And from there, it takes us into this. So this is the Game Boy Player main menu. Well, this is Pokemon's main menu, I guess. But up here, as you can see, if you press the Z button on your control, it gives you options. So that's what we're going to do. Just take a look at it. So this is the main menu. If you click here A, you can change the game pack, which we're not going to do right now. But you basically click A on that crap, and then you eject, take the game out. Um, another option that they have up on here is a timer. I'm not really too sure what the timer is for, I guess, to just turn off the game. So you can set, I'm assuming, from 0 to like 99, maybe max. Uh, the filter, you could change from sharp to soft to normal. You can change the controller layout. You can change the screen size from full to normal. I'm just going to keep it on normal. And the frames, I believe this is the background. So you can change this. Yeah, it gives you cool little backgrounds like that. So basically, once you have it set up like that, all you need to do... Well, we need to get out of the menu. And then we can start playing Pokemon Gold. So that's pretty much it, man. To be honest, I've never knew this thing existed until like a year ago. Until someone brought it over and left it with me. But um, it's a kind of a cool addition to the GameCube. 
the only other thing that I remember similar to this was for Super Nintendo, which was like a cartridge that you would put into the Super Nintendo and then you put the GameCube games on top. But um, yeah, if you guys have a GameCube and you haven't come across this, you need to check it out, man, especially if you like Game Boy. And uh, it seems like, at least for this game, it puts it into color. Like when I try to run this on my Game Boy Advance, for some reason, there's no color. But um, on here, there is. So not sure what that's about. But uh, yeah, basically that's the GameCube Game Boy Player Edition add-on, and that's how you use it. Now, if you want to eject the game, all you have to do is go to Z button, click Change Game Pack. Would you like to quit the game and change game packs? Yes, we do. Please change game packs now. So on the bottom here, what we're, what you want to do is just go here and hit that eject slot. And that just pops your game out. Now, if I had another game, I would be able to put in another game, but I don't, so we'll just put in the same freaking game. <laughs> and as you can see, it boots up again, and it takes you to the Pokemon Gold version screen. So yeah, you guys need to check this out. If you can get your hands on it, I suggest it, man. It's a cool little add-on. And it seems like it's pretty rare. I haven't seen too many people with it. I'm sure a lot of people have it, but at least from my experience. So I hope you guys like that. Make sure to sub. Make sure you guys check out some of the beats and the music on the site. And uh, peace.